I just wanted to give you guys an update in regards to our updated shoe list. As you might have seen on um, social media or on our website, the New Balance 860 version 9 has been a great shoe that's helped us out. However, with the new upgrade, the New Balance 860 version 10, there is a lack of um, calcaneal support or heel counter support in that shoe. If you guys remember from our previous videos, for us, when we go through a rehab process, remember our area of expertise is to help our patients through a rehabilitation process, and we're looking at a holistic approach at the head, neck, the trunk, and the pelvis to re-educate our patients how to move differently. And there are some wonderful, great people out there in the shoe stores that have a wonderful area of, area of expertise of fitting shoes. But remember, they're just looking at the foot and ankle and the shoes, and we're looking at the body holistically that is impaired because of our rehabilitation process. So we're not dealing with healthy people. So just know we already look at shoes differently if you get a little bit of pushback from your local running store. When we go to walk or run, your heel should hit the ground, and you need to have a good heel counter. This is the heel counter of the shoe to allow that midfoot to be able to repronate and supinate during the gait cycle. In addition to having that supination or pronation of that midfoot to be able to roll out and roll in and to be able to push off the big toe, you also need to, in order to have good trunk rotation when you walk or run, to have good mobility through the tibia and the talus bone, and the talus is a bone in the foot. So a heel counter is imperative with what we do as PRI trained physical therapists. ASICS by far has a far superior heel counter. It's more narrow and it's taller. And we don't like heel counters that collapse in. This is the ASICS Cumulus. And I just want you guys to look at this. This is the New Balance 860 uh, version 9. And you're going to see that this heel counter is not as narrow and it's not as tall. But the 860 provided a lot of our patients to be able to assist their arch. We want something different out of every shoe. But with the 860, they're never going to be able to assist and fill that arch and get that repronation if they don't have a stable heel counter. So if you look at the 860 of the version 9, and I push in here, this heel does not collapse in. Even though it's not the same as this, not everyone needs this type of control. But this is the New Balance 860 version 10. And if you look back here, this heel counter collapses in. So even if I press in here, this is too much wobble and too much stability for our patients to be able to repronate and supinate during the gait cycle and to get good tibia tailor control for an ankle to wobble during the gait cycle for trunk rotation. So a great substitute that I've been testing out for the last week is the ASICS Keanu 26 is added onto the list. It has a good heel counter like the Cumulus, but it also has some arch support that we got out of the 860 version 9. And it has great cushioning, you guys, that our patients can sense the ground underneath the floor. So I'd like you guys to try to substitute for the version 9 of the 860 to try the A6 Keanu 26. In the past, it has not been on our shoe list because it had a lot of lateral heel give, but it doesn't have that. It's a lot more stable and sturdy. So try it out. I just want to let you know what we're up to here at the clinic. We had a patient that didn't even know about the upgrade. She was in the version 9 here in the clinic. She went to the shoe store and tried on the version 10, and she said it is not the same shoe. She did not feel as good in it. So just remember to listen to your patients, look at your PRI objective test, and remember we're treating the body holistically for a new movement strategy. Have a great day.